Hi, this is Nina from NV Fine Art Studio. Welcome to Paint With Me watercolor tutorial. Today I'm focusing on a simple early morning seascape. I don't have any reference for this painting and just inventing as I go, but it's a very typical composition of two boats with some mountains in the background, mist in the air and glowing early morning sky. First I pre-wet my paper. While I'm mixing my colors, the paper will have time to absorb some of the water. I start my first wash with a mix of golden okra, alizarin crimson and a touch of lavender. This is for the glow of the rising sun. Next, I mix cobalt blue, neutral tint and lavender for the sky. I add a touch of cobalt turquoise to the mix for the upper part of the lake. For the darker part of the lake water, I add ultramarine blue and more neutral tint to the mix. I start with the darkest value at the bottom and go up, naturally losing some value on the way. Next, I mix the same colors but with less water and more pigment to have a thicker mixture to create an illusion of the waves. Later, I add a bit of cobalt turquoise to add variety. While the paper is still wet, I want to paint the mountains in the background. I want it to fuzz for the effect of mist and distance. I'm doing a very typical grey mix – ultramarine blue, burnt sienna and alizarin crimson. And later I'm adding a bit more burnt sienna to the mountain slopes facing the sun. Next, I soften the edges of the mist cloud with a clean, dry brush. Next, I paint the reflection of the mountains with the same grey. Again, I do thicker and thinner stripes to create an illusion of light movement of the water. I'll let my first wash dry. Next, I paint the boats. First, I go over with light grey wash all over. Then I mix cooler hue for the shadows and the reflection. I try to match the shapes of the reflection with shapes of the boats, but at the same time have broken and uneven edges.
Next, I add stripe of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue to the boats and the reflection. While the boats are drying, I start painting fishermen. I do a mix of raw and burnt sienna for the faces and arms and some dark grey for the clothing. With the same dark grey, I add shadows to the distant boat. When everything is dry, I add a bit of water to my palette to mix whatever grey I get. And with this tea-like consistency, I paint more ripples on the water with sharp edges. This adds a glossy texture to the water. I also add a few hard edges to the mountain on the foreground for the variety. I again soften the edge of the swash near the misty cloud. I'll let it dry again. My last wash is the darkest darks and details. I need a soft grey. So I mix a cream consistency neutral tint, ultramarine, burnt sienna and lavender. And just go over the areas that I want to be darker. I add a bit of burnt sienna to the mix for the areas that are catching the early sun. As a final touch, I go over the red stripe on the boat with light cadmium red for it to pop. And at the same time to separate it from the skin color of the fisherman. And with some white gouache to get a few sparkles on the reflective surfaces. Here we have it, early morning, misty lake, two men fishing. I hope you enjoyed it, if so, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.